Digifans, and welcome back to Digidom, the series of videos where I take you from zero to digital hero using Adobe Spark. Now, in today's tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to make a breaking news report using random objects, or just one, in fact, from around your house. Now, I used a baby elephant because I had one lying around. You might not have a baby elephant lying around, but you can use anything you like. It can be a person in your house, it can be an object, it can be a toy, like a Lego figure, something like that. Anything you like, but it must be newsworthy and you're gonna make it using Adobe Spark Video. As always, if you're using a phone or a tablet, you can download the Spark apps individually, Spark page, post and video. If you're using a laptop or a desktop, go to spark.adobe.com. <laughs> Okay, let's go over to the tutorial where I teach you to make a breaking news report using Adobe Spark Video. Okay, so let's get going. Click the plus up here and go straight to video. Give it a name, so mine's gonna be Digidom News. The next, and you can use a template here. To tell what happened and show and tell are pretty good for a news story, but I'm gonna start from scratch. There is always a tutorial that you can have a look at which is here, but if you want to get rid of that and just watch the video, that would be better. Okay. Now, let me show you what I've done first. Now, I've got all of my work that I'm going to do here. You might have this written down on a piece of paper, but I've got the different sections. I've got title. I've got the sort of start of the news, the intro, and then I've got the start of the story, the main event of the story, and how it ended. So that, that's my news story, how it started, the main event, and how it ended. And the rest of it is the parts of the news story that make it into a program. So let me show you how this works. So we've got our first title, it's gonna be Digidom News. So I'm gonna pop that in here as some text, Digidom News. And then I'm gonna put in, press the plus here and go to photo. Now you can do any of these, find free photos, upload your own photos. I'm actually gonna to go to find free photos because I haven't got one for this. So I'm just gonna put news in there because I'm doing a news program. And what am I going to choose? Let's have a look here. Hmm. This one's pretty cool. Like it. I wish this were fake news. <laughs> Looks good to me. Now, what you can do with these images is you can uh, press that button just in the top right and you could zoom in and move it around and things like that. But I don't mind. I think it's quite good where it is. So I'm happy with that. But what I am going to do is record this little voice over here. Welcome to Digital News. The truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth. So let me show you that. Press the voiceover button here. Welcome to Digidom News. The truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Now what you'll see is it's now seven seconds long because that's how long my voiceover was. If you want to remove the narration, you can just click there and record it again, or you can just press the button and it does the same thing. You can preview it down here as well. Welcome to Digidom News. The truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Nice, I like it. Now, one of the things you'll notice on there was the music. Now, I don't think that that's a particularly newsy style piece of music, but I know that this one is. And also, I'm going to reduce the sound a little bit just so that it doesn't go over the top of any of my uh, voiceovers or any of my pieces of video. Okay, I'm going to add another slide by pressing this button down here, and this comes up here. So I've got a piece of video I want to put in. For my second section, let me just go here, breaking news report, and it's this opening one, breaking news. So open that one up there. And what you get down here is you get these sliders. Now you can trim off bits of the start and bits at the end, but I'm pretty sure that the start, shuffle the papers, nice work. Good evening. Um nice, I like that. And just check the end is okay. Nice. So I don't need, I want the whole clip here, so I'm gonna press save. Now that's in there, I can do various things. First thing I'm going to want to do is press the little speaker button and make sure my voice is going to be loud. Uh, I'm also going to, you know, you can zoom into these things if you want to just make it a little bit more intense, get your face right up into the viewer's eye. And then I'm going to add some text in, which is going to be breaking news. But instead of it being uh, in the center like that, I'm going to change mine to a caption because I think it's more newsy. I think you actually see this kind of thing on the news. I like that, really nice, breaking news. Then I've got my video there, 
and then I'm going to add in the next slide. So I've got my breaking news. It's done. And I'm going to go to how it started, right? So this is my main news story. This is my caption here. And let me show you this. So I'm going to put some text in. Uh, oh, actually, just let me change the caption first. And then I can add in my text, uh, make it, well, no, maybe, maybe keep it that kind of size. And then also I've got some, I've got some video that I'm going to pop in here. So it's going to be accident. That's the one. Cool. Now, let me show you what I'm going to do first. So let's just press save on this. I'm not going to try and trim this clip here because I'm going to show you what I want to do with it. So press save. And then I can move this caption here. I might pop it up there. His life flashed before his eyes. And let me show you a little technique. OK, I'm going to record my voiceover first, which is this one. Eric the elephant was scrubbing his sink. Eric the elephant was scrubbing his sink as he did every day when suddenly the tap turned on without warning. As the bath began to fill up, he found himself struggling to get out and his life flashed before his eyes. Do you like my news presenter voice? I'm not sure I do. It's a little bit weird, but I'm having fun. And that's the main thing. So we've got our voiceover in here. And let me show you what I'm going to do now. So if I go back into this trim button here, if I press this button here, align to narration, it's going to, my voice recording and video will stay aligned. So this, the video clip will be the same length as the narration. So let me show you. Now I can move this around and choose where I want it to go. So I'm going to preview this clip. Nice. So I want that. I want it to have the tap turned on suddenly without warning. OK, so. Turns on there. OK, nice. I like that. That'll do for me. Cool. Press save. Now you can do other things like zooming in on this if you want to get the elephant nice and central. But I'm pretty happy. So I'm just going to move on to the next one. Press the plus. And we're going to look at doing this section here, the main events. So my caption that I want to put in, I do think captions work really well for new stories. That's why I want to use them. So I'm going to pop that one in there. And what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to record my voiceover first because it probably will save me some time. So let me show you this. I've got my voiceover here. Luckily, neighbors heard the, elephant, the baby elephant's cries. Let me record this one. Luckily, neighbors heard the baby elephant's cries and within seconds, the fire brigade arrived on the scene with an elephant spatula, lifting this precious creature to safety. So I've got 12 second voiceover. You can see that down there. And now when I put my video in, right, I can select rescue, open it up. And just like we did last time, make sure it's in red. OK, and then I'm going to find where exactly I want this to be. And I think I want, it, I want it to be when the tap is still on and when the spatula starts to come in. So let's have a look at this. Nice. Rescuing the elephant. And that'll do. Press save. Great stuff. Now I'm going to put rescue up in the top left just so that we can see what's happening in the main action down here. Uh, what else can I do here? Actually, maybe the sound of the tap is a little bit loud. So maybe I'll just put it on soft. Cool. And I'm going to go and press the plus down here again. So we're on to slide number five. The caption here is charity. This one is how it ended. So this is the end of my new story. Let's pop in or let's change it to caption. Pop in my caption here and then do my voiceover first. I think that's always probably slightly quicker to do it that way. So this one, since the incident. OK. Since the incident, Eric has been campaigning to raise awareness of the dangers of elephants cleaning sinks. His hard work has been rewarded with hundreds of pounds of donations from the public. Cool. Voiceover in. Press the plus here. Go to video. And here's the oh, no, it's the charity one. That's the one I want. Open that up. And again, it's aligned it to my voice. Now, there is a sort of better i think this second section is the better section now you can hear there's my baby in the background so i'll probably need to take the sound off that one but that's not a problem there we go the coins are coming in nice so there you go press save 
and now press the speaker button mute that clip good it's actually already on mute so that's great make sure we don't need any sounds that we don't need move the charity up there because most of the action is down here and then i'm going to add my last clip in here it's going to be a video uh, of me talking to camera so it's that one thanks for watching uh pop that in there i'm pretty sure we need all of it let me just check that's all we've got time for on today's news from all of us here at digidom news i'm digidom you stay classy digi fans aha let me show you what i'm going to do here let me show you something so if i go here just let me check where this ends you stay classy so they, this you stay classy digi fans i want to put on a different slide so let me show you what i'm going to do i'm digidom right I'm Digidom. I'm going to stop it there. It stopped around about there. Just let me check that. I'm Digidom. Right. Nice. If I press save now, watch what I can do. You see this thing here? It says continue clip. Now, don't forget the, the stake. You stay classy, Digifans. I want that to be slightly different. So if I press continue clip here, now it goes on to. You stay classy, Digifans. But I think I can leave it round about there and to mix it up and make it a little bit more special i'm going to go over here and i'm going to zoom right in on this end bit let me just get it so it's nothing but my face in the frame have a little preview here see what it's like oh you can't hear that's because i haven't put it on loud maybe also i need to bring that music down a little bit as well let me just check that. Now, if we give it a play now. You stay classy, Digi fans. Nice. I like that. And then I can end it if I want to. You don't have to do this, but you can end it with a kind of ending slide. So we use this one for the intro. And I think there's a pretty good one. Where is it gone? There we go. This one here is pretty good. What I think I'll do is I will click here, zoom in, bring it kind of to the center. And maybe add a little uh, thanks for watching. See you tomorrow at 6 p.m. Maybe this is the 6 p.m. Digidom news. And maybe I'll turn that into a caption as well. Take it up to the top here. And then maybe just zoom in ever so slightly more on this. And uh, just put good news. That's nice. I like that. That's a really nice way to do it. So now that you've got all of your things in place just go back and check things like have you got things on the right level of sound this one's on loud i'm happy about that is this one on loud oh that one's on soft good i'm glad i checked this last one i know is on loud and when you're ready you can download your video by clicking here and it'll download here to your machine if you want to share it with people then you can just publish it here create the link and after a minute or so, that'll be ready. Just copy that and you can share it with your family and your friends. If you ever do things, something like changing the theme, for example, some of these themes are great. You might want to check them out. I like the noir one. That's quite cool. I wonder. But you can also change the color and things like that. Now, I went for a kind of purple background you'll see here. So if I now change this to purple or if I changed it to a different theme, for example, then I would need to go back into share and then publish again to get a new link. And you would do that by clicking this update link to make sure that it was nice and fresh with all the things that you changed. And if you need a structure for your own, then this one is quite good. You have one to six, you have the title, breaking news, which is kind of your intro. Then you've got the first part of your story, the main part of your story, how your story ended, and then you just finish it with a little goodbye. Cool, let's take a look at mine. <laughs> Welcome to Digidon News. The truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Good evening and welcome to today's top story. A rare red baby elephant nearly drowns in a sink but lives to tell the tale. Not only that, but the baby elephant has since gone on to raise thousands of pounds for charity. Eric the elephant was scrubbing his sink as he did every day when suddenly the tap turned on without warning. As the bath began to fill up, he found himself struggling to get out and his life flashed before his eyes. 
Luckily, neighbors heard the baby elephant's cries and within seconds, the fire brigade arrived on the scene with an elephant spatula, lifting this precious creature to safety. Since the incident, Eric has been campaigning to raise awareness of the dangers of elephants cleaning sinks. His hard work has been rewarded with hundreds of pounds of donations from the public. That's all we've got time for on today's news. From all of us here at Digidom News, I'm Digidom. You stay classy, Digi fans. I hope you enjoyed that, Digi fans, and I'm looking forward to seeing all of your breaking news stories. So please do share your videos with me using the hashtag Digidom or by finding me on the socials, Dom underscore trainer. That was a lot. As always, if you haven't yet subscribed to these videos, then subscribe, get on with it, get it out of the way, get it over with, and then I won't say it anymore. Well, I will, I'll say it at the end of every video. So you should just do it anyway. But apart from that, where am I gonna see you next? Yeah, that's right, on the next Digidom video. Mm -hmm.